Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. It's nice to see you tonight. How are you? I'm excellent. Thanks. Thanks for asking me. And Claudia, how are you tonight? Everything fine, teacher. Okay, that sounds very good. Everything is fine. So let's see. Here we go. How was your day today? How was busy. Your day? Ah, very you have busy. a busy day. Very busy, a very busy day. So you are tired now. Are you tired? Are you tired today? So, so, so. No. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, ¿qué actividades hicieron el día de hoy? Just work. Just work. Just um, work. Yes. Yes, okay. Okay, let's see. Tonight we're going to study the simple past tense. Simple past activities that we did in the past. Actividades que as hicimos, que ya sucedieron. That is the topic for tonight, simple past tense. And yesterday we learned about things we have to do. Ayer aprendimos acerca de cosas que tenemos que hacer using the modal auxiliary, have to. And you say, I have to do the dishes, I have to clean my room, I have to work, I have to work on weekends, I have to study, I have to... I have to complete the platform, for example. That is something that you have to do. Uh, by the way, do you have any question about the platform exercises and also the evaluations? No question until the moment. No question. Okay, very good then. So then that was yesterday topic, right? And also we studied the midterm test. We have a review of the midterm test, the kind of question that you are going to find in that test. ¿Y ¿Ya lo resolvieron? Ana María, Glenda, Claudia. Yes, ya yes. lo resolví. Ah, okay, excellent. Very yes. good. Okay, very good. Hello, Glenda. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening. So let's start tonight class and watching the next video. We're going to watch the next video. It is a conversation and we're going to find this video on the platform. So I'm sharing with you my screen. Okay, are you able to see it? Yes. Yes, okay, excellent. So look at this small conversation. And we are going to listen this. So here we go. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay, what is the conversation about? What is this conversation about? It says, hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? What is the meaning of this question? Did you have a good weekend? Did you have any idea? What is the meaning of that question? Um, me dice que estoy un poquito cansado, que estuvo ocupado el fin de semana. Um, oh, who was busy, Michael or Jennifer? Uh, Jennifer. Oh, yes, Jennifer. you're right. Uh -huh. Jennifer, Jennifer is tired today. So, Michael mm -hmm. asks, really? Why? Why is 
Why is she so tired today? Wait, cansado. Cansada. Yes, porque está cansada el día de hoy. Um, porque estuvo ocupada el fin de semana. Ah, ok, excelente. So, what did she do? ¿Qué actividades hizo ella? And then we have here. Eh... She exercise en la mañana, en ejercicio en la mañana. Con sus compañeros de cuarto. Ajá. Ok. La, la voz. Ah, sí. Fue de compra. Fue de compra y visitó a, a los familiares. Ok, excelente. Very good. Thank you. You did an excellent job in this part. So, she said, I exercise. Uh, then my room, my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped, um, and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? Oh, esas actividades solo fueron del día sábado. Then Michael asked, what did you do on Sunday? ¿Qué hiciste el domingo? And she said, I studied for the test. Estudió para el... Um... Estudió para él. Para el examen todo el día. Oh, todo el domingo. Gastó todo el domingo estudiando para el examen. Y Michael says, oh no, do we have a test today? ¿Tenemos examen hoy? I didn't study. Yo no estudié. I just watched <laughs> television all the weekend. So, yo solo vi televisión todo el fin de semana. ¿Alguna vez les pasó o les ha pasado? Yes, yes. And you <laughs> no se dieron cuenta and you didn't know right, that you have a test that day. O los famosos quizzes sorpresa ¿verdad? de los teachers en algunas ocasiones. Okay, now let's listen. Let's listen again this conversation. Pay attention to the pronunciation and also the intonation, please. And we are going to practice and so here we go. Listen. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay. So, oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Eh, ¿Cómo se escucha el chico al final de la conversación? Preocupado. Oh, he's so worried about the test. And you can see that on the pictures. Lo puede ver acá en la imagen, ¿no? Afligido, right? She's worried, preocupado. So, a uh, new vocabulary in this small conversation. New vocabulary. Roman? Roommate. Excellent. Excellent. Then my roommate. Uh, that is compañero de cuarto. Roommate. Thank you. Any other word? Parents, for example, what's the meaning of the word parents? Padre. Padres. Okay, very good. And let's see any other word. Okay. Busy? Busy. Ocupado. Opa. Ocupado, yes, you're right. So, well, I had a busy weekend. Busy. I had a busy weekend. Any other? What about this question? Really? Really? En serio? Okay, very good. De verdad? En serio? Okay, nice. No more question about the vocabulary? Teacher, okay. roommate, yeah. ¿qué significaba? Roommate, compañero de cuarto. Okay, gracias. Okay, thank you for your question. Any other? Any other difficult word in this part? Busy. 
Okay, then um, I need to volunteer to practice this small conversation. Who wants to practice tonight? Me, Elia. Elia Elias and Anna, okay. You can start, Elias, please. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had... I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday at exercise in the morning, then my roommate and I cleaned, cleaned my, did laundry and shopped and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay, excellent job. Thanks a lot, Elias and Anna. You did an almost perfect job in this part. Thank you. Thank you very much. So let's see. Let's let's see this the same conversation in the following presentation. The second, I'm going to share with you the presentation of tonight. And we're going to be able to read this. Here is it. I am sharing with you my screen. I am sharing the presentation. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Can you already see the presentation? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Here we go, just a second. Simple pass with regular birds. That is the topic for tonight. So welcome to the class number nine. And let's start with this, right? This is the conversation. Again, so can you, can you identify some bird in pass in this conversation? Had. Oh, okay, had is one, yes. Exercise. Exercise. Very good. Any Clean other? Clean it. Shopped. Visited. Okay. Um, Shop. Studied. Studied. Visit. And visited. Washed. Oh, washed. Washed to. Study. Study. Oh, okay. Study. Cleaned. Cleaned. Study. Clean, studied. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So look at this. Um, almost all of them I are sorry are a regular birds. Let's underline them. Let's see. This is an irregular bird. Hat is an irregular bird. Then we have a exercise. Exercise. Uh, this is a re, this is a regular bird. Then I have here clean is another regular bird. Shop to shop visit it. And let's see, study to study it. And watched. What? Watched. Watched. It's another regular bird. So what is in common in these regular birds? ¿Qué tienen en común? Uh, in, 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 in. Okay, very good. All of them end in ed. In ed. So let's see. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer el pasado de los verbos regulares? So we need to follow up some rules. Pero antes de ver las reglas, veamos los siguientes ejemplos. So look at this. I studied on Sunday. That is a sentence in past, simple past tense. Eh, esta acción ya sucedió, ¿verdad? Ya terminó en el pasado. I studied on Sunday. Ya estudié. Eh, yo estudié el domingo. To watch, to watch television. Tú viste televisión. She stayed at home. Ella estuvo en casa. We shopped for groceries. Nosotros fuimos de compras por alimentos. 
food. They exercised on Saturday. Ellos ejercitaron el sábado. So, si queremos decir que no hicimos una actividad en el pasado, vamos a utilizar didn't. Didn't. So, I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. Yo estudié el domingo. Yo no estudié el sábado. So, I didn't study on Saturday. You watch television. You didn't watch a movie. Tú viste televisión. You didn't watch a movie. No viste una película. She stay at home. She didn't stay out. Ella estuvo en casa. Ella no salió. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. Fuimos de compras por alimentos. Food. We didn't shop for clothes. No fuimos de compras por ropa. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Ellos se ejercitaron el día sábado. No se ejercitaron el día domingo. So look at this. These birds are examples of regular birds. In most of the regular birds, we are going to just add ed to form the simple past tense. Para la mayoría de los verbos regulares solo tenemos que agregar una ed, ¿verdad? Y ya sí. tenemos el verbo en pasado. pasado. So look at this. Watch, watched. Study, studied. Exercise, exercised. Stay, stayed. Shop, shopped. Pero tenemos que seguir a unas reglas, ¿verdad? We have to follow some rules, some sections to form the simple pass of the regular verbs, and we're going to study them. So let's see. Let's go with this. Simple pass form of regular verbs rules. We need to follow this rule in order to make the pass form of the regular verbs. Let's start rule number one. Regular past simple tense is formed by adding ed to the verb. This is easy, right? La mayoría de los verbos solo vamos a agregarle una ed, like this example. Ed in English. So we have loved, washed, started, called, listened. Loved, washed, started, called, and listened. So what is the meaning of this bird? The first bird in the example, what is the meaning? Love. Como reír, teacher. Así es, reírse. That is the right meaning. Thank you. Very good. Wash. Lavo. Lavar. Lavar. Y si digo washed, washed. Lavo. Lavar. Lavo. Start, start. Empezó. Empezar, comenzar. Si sí, started, started. Comenzó, empezó, inició. Call. Llamó. Llamó. Ok, excelente. Call es llamar. Called es llamó. Then I have listen. Escuchó. Escuchar. 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 Listen. Escuchó. Let's see the second rule. So the first rule is this. Se me a que... ah. Okay, then let's go to the next. The second rule. If the verb ends in E, to just add D. Si el verbo termina en letra E, solo tenemos que agregar la D, ¿verdad? Easy. Easy the rule number two. So for example, the verb like. Light. Agree. Agreed. Bait. Skate. Si ya el verbo termina en una E, solo agregamos D. Do you know the meaning of this verb? Like, agree, bake, and skate. What is the meaning of like? Gustar. Agree. Estar de acuerdo. Estar de acuerdo. Bake. Hornear. Yes, skate. Escapar. Escapar, ¿verdad? Si escapaban de la escuela, escape. Escape. <risa> no. 
No. Okay. Ah, ok. Sometimes, you say. sometimes, algunas veces. Let's see the second. So the second rule is easy. If the verb ends in letter E, you just add D. Si el verbo termina en E, solo agregamos D. And we have the past form of the regular verbs. Let's see the number three. It's if a verb ends in consonant plus Y, you take off the white and add I, E, D. Si el verbo termina en, una, en esta combinación, consonante, consonant plus white, consonante más Y, you take off the white and add I, E, D. Entonces vamos a eliminar, vamos a eliminar esa Y y agregamos una I normal más ED. Look at this example. Carry, carried, try, tried, fry, fried, cry, cried. So we are going to take off the letter Y and we are going to write eh, normally a una I normal. So, más ED, carry, carry it, try, try, fry, fried, cry, cry. Do you have any question regarding the first three rules? Question, questions? Oh, can you please tell me what is rule number one? In English or Spanish, no problem. Que se le agrega la ED. Ok, excelente. A la mayoría de los verbos solo vamos a agregarle ED. Eh, rule number two. Que si el verbo ya finaliza en E, solo le vamos a agregar la D. Excelente, thank you. If the verb ends in letter E, you just add D. En rule number three. Que si terminan en Y, se les agrega la IED. Pero si antes está acompañado de consonantes, se, se agrega así. Ok, excelente. Very good. Tiene que ser esta combinación consonante más Y para poder eliminarla. Y agregamos una I normal más ED. Let's see the following two rules. The rule number four. If a verb ends in a vowel plus Y, You just add ed. Si el verbo termina en una vocal más de es y, solo vamos a agregar ed. For example, play. You see, played, pray, prayed, enjoy, enjoyed, delay, delayed. So as you can see, here is a vowel. Here is a vowel. And then why? So we just add ed. Si el verbo termina en vocal más y, solo agregamos ed. No necesitamos eliminar. And the last rule, rule number five. When a one syllable verb ends in vowel plus consonant, double the consonant before adding ed. Ok. Si tenemos un verbo pequeño de una sílaba, one syllable verb, y este termina en vocal más consonante, vamos a tener que duplicar la consonante. We are going to double the consonant before adding ed, antes de agregar ed. Let's see, for example, stop. Es una sola sílaba y tiene esta combinación. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces tenemos que duplicar la segunda consonante. Y esta sería la manera correcta de escribir este verbo en pasado. Stopped. Plan. Otra vez un verbo pequeño de una sola sílaba. Plan. Y termina en esta combinación. Consonante, vocal, consonante. We doubled the second consonant. So, planned. Hop. Saltar, brincar. So, hopped. The same verbo. Uh, corto, bueno, one syllable, hop. Y consonante, vocal, consonante, we double the second consonant, hop. Beg, beg, and that is rogar, so beg. The same. 
Um, this is a one syllable verb, so we double the letter G, bet. Do you have any question regarding these rules? Question, questions, no questions. Then let's practice. Okay, watch, look at this. We're going to complete the sentences. Tell me, watch. Watch it. Watch it. Oh. Ok, very good. Tenemos que agregarle. ED. 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 Ok, ED. Excellent. We watched a movie last night. The next one, use. Use it. Use it. ED. Uh, 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 D. D. Tengo que agregarle a ED. ED or D. just D. D. Just solo D. Oh, just D because, because it's N in letter E. So, just. The next one, bake. 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 Just D. Just D. Just D. Very good. Yesterday, mom baked a cake. Okay. Chop. 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 Duplica la P y agrega el D. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Chopped. Chopped. What is the meaning of that bear? Chop? Uh, no tengo idea. Cortar, no idea. Cortar madera. <laughs> cortar madera. So who chopped it with a side? ¿Quién cortó esa madera? ¿Cuál es? What is? Can you please repeat your question? ¿Cuál verbo es escoger? Choose. Choose. Uh, Choose. Okay, thank you. Okay. And the next, cook. Cook. Okay, Eddie, cook. Cook. Dan cooked dinner for us last week. And let's see the next bird. Okay. Cry. Cry. No. You. E, E, D. Ah, ok. ¿Y qué más tengo ah, que hacerle al verbo? Sustituir. Ok, ¿Eh? very good. Sustituir. Cried. Sí. Yeah. Cried the whole night. So we have the first one. We watched a movie last night. Sam used the computer an hour ago. Yesterday, mom baked a cake. Who chopped the wood outside? Dan cooked dinner for us last week. Uh, it cried the whole night. So a volunteer to practice in sentences one and two, please. Who wants to read them? Me, Sobeida. Thank you, Sobeida. You can start, please. Okay. We watched a movie last night. Sam used the computer an hour, an hour ago. Thank you very much. I volunteer to read sentence number three and four, please. Anna. Thank you, Anna. Yesterday, Mom baked a uh, bake who chopped the wool of pie. Thank you. And then number C, number five, number six. I volunteer, please. Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. Dan cook dinner for us last week. It created the world. Night. Night. It, it cried. It cried the whole night. Okay, excellent. Thank you. You did an excellent job in this part. Thank you very much. Let's see this. Look at this small paragraph. Uh, last weekend, I walked to a restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. The waiter arrived and I ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. So, ED pronunciation. ¿Cómo vamos a pronunciar esta ED? En este párrafo tenemos las tres maneras de pronunciar el pasado de los verbos regulares. 
listen at the first one. Last weekend, I walked to my favorite restaurant. So I walked. El, el sonido Walk. termina como en una T, I walked. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. They waited a ride and I ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. Esa ED, hay tres sonidos diferentes, right? Eh, para decir el pasado de los verbos regulares. Look at the first one, Walt. Lo va, vamos a pronunciar la ED con una T al final, Walt. Walt. Then the next one, glance, glanced, glanced, with T sound. Arrive es con sonido de T, arrived, arrived. Ordered is with D sound, ordered, ordered. Hand, handed, handed, con sonido id, handed. Taste, tasted. Taste it. Now, ¿cómo saber? ¿Cómo saber cuándo vamos a pronunciar? D sound, D sound, or it sound. We are going to learn in the next slide. I have that information for you tonight. So let me see. It is, I'm going to pronounce it is sound. ¿Cómo voy a pronunciar el sonido ED? En la forma de, en el pasado de los verbos regulares. So look at the first one, sound id. Pueden decir ese sonido conmigo, id, id, id. 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 Ok. Vamos a utilizar ese sonido cuando los verbos terminen en una T o una D. Cuando terminen el sonido de T o D, Entonces vamos a pronunciar la ed, ¿verdad? Del pasado del verbo regular como id, id sound. So look at this example. One. Want. Termina el sonido de t, ¿verdad? Want. Entonces para pronunciar el pasado voy a decir wanted. Wanted. El verbo need, need. Termina en D, en el sonido de D. Entonces, al agregarle el ED para formar el pasado, voy a pronunciar need it, need it, need it. So, want it, need it. Let's see the next. We are going to pronounce T. Vamos a pronunciar este ED en los verbos, regala, en los verbos regulares como una T. Cuando los verbos terminan en, en el sonido de las siguientes letras. P, K, F, S, S, H, C, H, or T, H. Por ejemplo, help. El verbo help, ¿en qué sonido termina? Help. El sonido de P. De. Help. En el sonido de P. Help. 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 Entonces, cuando lo esté pronunciando en pasado, voy a pronunciar la ED como una T. Helped. 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 Wash. Wash. ¿En qué sonido termina? En S8 sound. En this one. S8 sound. So wash. Entonces, en pasado lo voy a pronunciar como una T. Washed. 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 No voy a decir wash it. Voy a decir washed. No voy a decir help it. Voy a decir helped. Helped. Washed. So let's see. ¿Cuándo vamos a pronunciar ese, esa terminación ED de los verbos regulares en pasado como sonido de D? D, D. Any verb that ends with a vowel sound or the sounds Todos los verbos que terminen en una vocal, en el sonido de una vocal o el sonido de las siguientes letras. L, M, N, J, R, G, B, V, W, C. 
Let's see, for example, col, it's end in sound L, right? Col. En pasando voy a decir cold. Cold. Play termina en vowel sound, right? Play. Play termina en vowel, so I want to say played. 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 <coughs> Do you have any question on how to pronounce ED sounds at the end of the bird in past? In regular bird in past? Question? Oh, no. Solo es cuestión de que nos aprendamos las letras. ¿Cuáles letras sí vamos a pronunciar T? Y en cuáles vamos a pronunciar these sounds. And it is easy. It is kind of easy because in all the verbs that any T sound or D sound, so we are going to use it. Let's make the following example. I used a scatter. ¿Cuál sonido es acá en este? I used a scatter. Y de. Used. 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 Es D sound, right? Need. Eh, voy a pronunciar este et como T, D or Eid. Como Eid. Eid. Excelente. The next one, number three. He pushed the button. Is it D, D, or E it sound? Push. D, D, D. D sound, right? He pushed the button. So, pushed, pushed, pushed. I studied for this. Studied. E, D. E, D. E, it sound, studied. Very good. I studied for the test. So who wants to try to pronounce this sentence correctly? So you don't have to say used, you said. You have to say used, needed, pushed, studied. Who wants to try? Quien quiere intentar? Try it. A volunteer, please. Any volunteer? Help me, help me with this, please. You can do it. I'm sure that you can do it. Help me with this. Any volunteer? Yo tengo duda en la pronunciación de la primera. Used. Why? Cuando el sonido termina en D. Used. Yes. Dice como el sonido es, termina como ID, el sonido. En este caso sería diferente. Mm, used. Oh, yo estoy confundida. No, it's, it's ending this vowel sound. Use, use, use. Se escucha como, como con sonido. Cuando lo pronuncia pasado, se escucha como que fuera sonido de T. Así es. Ah, okay. Let's see. You are right. So let's see. Let's, let's verify this. So remember that it's the sound, right? Very good. So I'm going to use. Let me see in which letter it's very end. So used. It end in C sound. It termina en el sonido de Z. Use. When you say use, use. Por esas razones que se pronuncia como de used. 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 Esa es la razón. Used. Any other doubt? Any other question? No questions? No teacher. No okay. Then who wants to try? Used, needed, pushed, and studied. Me, teacher. Okay, thank Wait. you. I used a craft. Scarf. 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 
I use a scarf. Yes. I need it a sweater. 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 I need it a sweater. He pushed the button. I studied for the test. Okay, excellent. So I used a scarf. Yo, yo sé, ¿verdad? Una bufanda. I needed a sweater. Yo necesitaba un suéter. He pushed the button. I studied for the test. Any other volunteer? Any other volunteer? Uh, repeat, please. He pushed. Pushed he, or pushed? Pushed. Pushed. Because he pushed Push. the button. Pushed the button. The button. Yes, the button. He pushed yeah. the button. Let's go then with the next example. Um, let's see, after knowing this, después de conocer, ¿verdad? Cómo escribir correctamente el pasado de los duros regulares y también cómo pronunciar the ED sound, we are going to learn how to make sentences and make how to make sentences in past. So making affirmative sentences. We need to use the following structure to make sentences in simple past. We are going to need a subject, verb in the past tense, plus a complement. So subject, verb in the past tense, plus a complement. Para hacer una oración en pasado, solo necesitamos estas tres cosas. Subject, un sujeto, Verb in the past tense, el verbo en tiempo pasado, in a complement. Y un complemento. Look at the example. I studied on Sunday. You watch television. She stayed at home. We shopped for the groceries. They exercised on Saturday. So easy, right? Subject, verb in past, complement. Subject, verb in past, and complement. So in this way, we make affirmative sentences. Let's see how to make, let's practice in this. Use the verb in the box to complete the following sentences. Uh, do you know the meaning of these five verbs here in this list? Live, enjoy, stop, jump, and stay. What's the meaning of live? Vivir. Yes, you're right. Enjoy. Disfrutar. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Alto. Alto. Detenerse. Muy bien. Jump. Saltar. Uh, yes, you're right. And stay. Stay. Permanecer. Okay. No, no. okay, permanecer, ¿verdad? Quedarse, permanecer, stay. So, in number one, what, you, what do you think is the correct verb for number one? To enjoy the course. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy is the right bird. And if I want to write it in pass, what do I need to add to this bird? Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Uh, uh -huh. I-E-D or E-D? E-D. <laughs> e Just E-D, right? Okay. And for the next one, then the car, The car. Stop. Stop. Yes, stop. the car is stop. I'm the light. So what do I need to add to the pair to make it in simple past tense? P E D. P E D. P E D. Okay, excellent. Stopped. In the frog, very high. 
Jump. Okay, excellent. What do I need to add to this verb to make the simple past tense? Add ed. 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 Okay, very good. Jumped. The frog jumped very high. Jumped. The next one, number four. Frost Stay. home alone. Stay. 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 What do I need to add to the very state to make it in simple pass? Ed. Why for I add ed? Um, not in this case. Cost uh, it any vowel uh, and why? Termina en vocal. Uh, y en qué caso se cambia? Se cambia cuando termina en Consonant, consonant and okay. Y. Ah, ok. Ok, thank you. And the last one. He lived in Rome long time ago. D. D. Just D, right? Just D. The very any D. We are just D. They enjoyed the cruise. The car stopped at the light. The frog jumped very high. Rose stayed home alone. And he lived in Rome long time ago. Thank you very much. Any question in this part? No question. Pardon, teacher. ¿Cómo se pronuncia stay en pasado? Stayed. 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 Con sonido de D al final. Stayed. Making negative sentences. ¿Cómo decir um, oraciones negativas en pasado? Cosas que no sucedieron. So we need to use the following structure to make negative sentences in simple past. We're going to need a subject, didn't. The auxiliary did plus not. Contractado is didn't. The verb in present plus complement. So look at this, uh, como el auxiliar lo vamos a poner en pasado, did, el verbo tiene que ir en presente, ya no lo vamos a escribir en pasado. Subject, didn't, very in present, plus complement. So look at this example, I didn't study on Sunday. I didn't study on Sunday. You didn't watch television. She didn't stay at home. We didn't shop for groceries. They didn't exercise on Saturday. As you can see, the verb here is in present. So subject I didn't study the verb in present on Sunday, which is the complement. You didn't watch television. So you subject auxiliary did plus not didn't the verb watch television. So, de esta manera hacemos las oraciones negativas, ¿no? utilizando el auxiliar did más not, que contractado se pronuncia didn't, didn't, para decir algo que no, no sucedió, ¿verdad? En el pasado, o no hizo, I didn't study on Sunday, you didn't watch television, she didn't stay at home, we didn't shop for groceries, they didn't exercise on Saturday. A volunteer to practice this example, please. Who wants to read examples? Eh, Miss Sheila, eh, tengo una consulta, teacher. Yes. Eh, eh, solamente eh, en negativa mm -hmm. es que no, no va a cambiar el verbo, ¿verdad? Pero en, en lo demás sí, ca sí se cambia. Uh, en negativo. O sea, el, el, el verbo. Cuando la oración es afirmativa, entonces vamos a utilizar el, el verbo en pasado, ¿no? cuando es afirmativa la oración. Cuando es, Ay, una es una oración negativa y una pregunta, o una oración interrogativa, vamos a utilizar el auxiliar did. Y el verbo siempre va a ir así en presente. Presente. O sea que vamos a utilizar la forma pasada de los verbos solo en oraciones afirmativas ah ok bueno pues eh, lo leo okay, I thank didn't you. study on Sunday 
you the next. did? You did that. Wash. The next. Didn't. Didn't. ¿Cuál es la pronunciación? Didn't. Yes, didn't. Didn't. Stay at home. 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 We didn't shop for groceries. They didn't exercise on Saturday. Okay, thank you very much. Very good job, thank you. Any other volunteer to practice these sentences? Who wants to read them? If not, I'm going to pick someone. Any volunteer? Ah, no, de nuevo, ya que no. ah, perdón. Sí, eh, tell me, me and your name, please. Me, Elia. Okay, thank you, Elias. I didn't study on Sunday. You didn't watch television. She didn't stay at home. We didn't shop for groceries. They didn't exercise on Saturday. Thank you very much. Thank you. So negative sentences in this way we make negative sentences. So let's practice. Let's see what is the right sentence. I have the word didn't, sister, I held my. What is the right sentence? I, I didn't, didn't help help my sister. My sister. Okay, excellent. I didn't help my sister. Qué mala esa persona. Yo no le ayudé a mi hermana. I didn't help my sister. The second one. He didn't, he didn't wash, wash, his wash his car. Excellent. He didn't wash his car. Very good. Number three. We didn't, we didn't play, play golf yesterday. yesterday. Excellent. Very good. We didn't play golf yesterday. And number four. The boys, the boys playing, playing with Mexico. Uh, with Mexico. To Mexico. Okay. The boys. What is the next word? The boys. Planned. Planned. to Mexico. A trip to Mexico. Okay, the boys planned a trip to Mexico. Very good. And the next one. Peter. No, Peter. The Peter dance. The dance. Peter dance with Susan. Susan. What is the meaning of this word? The waltz. 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 No idea. No idea. Esto que bailaron a los 15 años. ¿Cómo se llamaba eso? Mm. Ah, bye. Bye. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Peter with Susan dance the waltz. Susan Peter dance. The waltz with Peter. Susan. With Susan. Susan the dance walls. Peter. Wall, that's wall. Okay, let's see. Let's solve this mystery. The sentence is Peter <laughs> dance the walls with Susan. Oh, the <laughs> okay, very good try. Very good Peter. try. Peter dance the walls with Susan. Thank you. Let's see next. Oh, here are the answers. 
I didn't help my sister. We didn't play golf yesterday. Peter danced the waltz with Susan. He didn't wash his car. The boys planned a trip to Mexico. So those are the answers. So let's see. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you have any question? Questions, questions. Don't no you have questions. Any, no questions? Teacher. Yes. But regale me un ejemplo de del del cambio que se le hace a la Y por la I y se le agrega ED. Okay, very good. Okay, let's see the bird cry, for example. What is the meaning of this bird? Uh, cry, cry. Uh, llorar. Llorar, so let's see. Cry. In this case, el verbo termina en una consonante, which is R, plus white, consonante Y. Entonces, en este caso, right. es uh -huh. sí, ¿verdad? Okay. Vamos a quitar o a sustituir la Y por una I normal y vamos a escribir ED. So, cried. And she cried the whole night for her boyfriend. Okay. She cried the whole night for her boyfriend. Ella lloró toda la noche por su... No... For su novio, right? She cried the whole oh, night for her boyfriend. Whole. Toda la noche, completa, the whole night. Mucho okay. tiempo. Entonces, en este caso, sí, tenemos que sustituir. De no lo sustituyo cuando termina en vocal. En este caso, play termina en vocal más guay. Solo se le agrega ED. Solo vamos a agregar ED. Muy bien. He okay, played. Me queda claro. Soccer Teach. yesterday. He played soccer yesterday. Any other? El Any concepto other? de la regla número 5, ¿cómo quedaría? Me quedé mm. en esa parte. Eh, rule number 5 to add ED. Ah, it says that los verbos como stop, eh, plan, which other one was there? Stop, plan, eh, son verbos de una sola sílaba, stop, plan. Y terminan en esta combinación de letras, una consonante, en el caso de stop es T, después una vocal O y una P, stop. Entonces, cuando tenemos este tipo, este tipo de determinación, ¿verdad? consonante, vocal, consonante, tenemos que duplicar la segunda consonante para hacer el pasado. Stop. Lo mismo sucede con plan, que termina verbo de una sola sílaba, plan. Y tiene esa combinación, ¿verdad? consonante, vocal, consonante, entonces duplicamos este. I'm sorry. Is here. Planned. Esa era la regla número 5. Ok, thank you. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, si termina. Um, no con consonante. No con vocal antes. Mm. No, no entraría ahí, ¿verdad? I don't understand. Si no termina con... Um, como try. El verbo try. Uh, yes. No, en este le aplicaríamos la misma regla que utilizamos en try. Try. Ah, Así, okay. Vamos a sustituir la Y. Es try. 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 Nos quedaría así. Try. It. Any other question? Okay, now let's see. Um, hay dos tipos de verbos. We have regular verbs, like this one that we have been studying tonight. 
And there are irregular birds. Do you know what is the difference? We have regular. And let me use another one. So we have regular birds. And also irregular birds. Do you know the difference? Regular pair and irregular pairs. ¿Conocen la diferencia entre estos dos tipos de verbos? No. No, no idea. Ok, regular verbs. We follow, we follow rules to make the past. En los verbos regulares vamos a seguir las reglas que aprendimos para formar el pasado. Los verbos irregulares no tienen, una, no tienen reglas. Cada verbo tiene su propia forma en el pasado. Let's see, for example, this, it, es un verbo irregular. ¿Cuál es el pasado? ¿Quién conoce el pasado de este verbo? Eight. Yes, eight. 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 As you can see, no seguimos ninguna regla, ¿verdad? Tiene su propia forma. Let's see, drink, for drink. example. Drink, tomar, ¿cuál es el pasado? Drunk. 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 Ok, no rules to follow. Pues no hay reglas que seguir, ¿verdad? Cada verbo tiene su propia forma. Make. Drunk. Ok, make. That is made. Después tenemos drive y el pasado es drop. En sombra. En son tenemos have y el pasado es had, do y el pasado es did. Entonces esa es la diferencia que los verbos regulares sí siguen las reglas que aprendimos el día de hoy. Los verbos irregulares, cada verbo tiene su propia forma. La única manera de aprendérselos es studying them, studying them, <risa> studying them a lot from a list, estudiando esos verbos de una lista. Eh, yo les voy a compartir una lista de un grupo de verbos para que ustedes comiencen a practicarlos. Eh, van regular and irregular verbs. Y en tomorrow we are going to study irregular verbs. So do you have any other question? No no question? No question. So please um, don't forget to work on the exercises and the evaluation. No se les olvide seguir trabajando en la plataforma, please. Eh, tenemos que terminar eso, ¿verdad? We have to finish. Si tienen dudas, en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? And we can help you. So thank you very much. It has been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thank you very much for being here with me. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.